film starts with an American Special Forces unit catching General Ivan Roddick, in movie Jurgen Prokhno, the tyrant of Kazakhstan's Moscow, alongside his better half Grace, in movie Wendy Crusin, and little girl Alice, in movie Liesel Matthews. Marshall says that considering every one individuals killed in Kazakhstan they were too delayed to even think about acting, and promises to not permit something like this reoccur. We'll never negotiate. We will no longer tolerate and we will no longer be afraid. It's your turn to be afraid. Marshall, his family, and his men are then gotten back to Air Force One, which goes on off on its return outing to Washington, D.C. Try and smile, sweet. Carrie's the President of the United States, although I we understand. I'm sorry. I'm actually. Please place your thumb. Gibbs kills a few specialists in a significant defensive situation on the plane and the thieves, drove by Igor Korshunov, in movie Gary Oldman. Korshunov and his men rapidly deal with the plane, killing a few Secret Service officials and catching the First Lady and the President's staff. I think you'll negotiate. Marshall is requested into a departure case in the freight hold. Course Hunov's men assuming command over the plane. The plane is steered towards Kazakhstan, and Course Hunov makes an immediate phone call to the White House. Course Hunov demands the arrival of General Roddick, with the limitation that a prisoner will be executed each half hour until his requests are met. Shortly from there on, the president's getaway unit is found, however, he isn't inside. Marshall stowed away on board the plane, goal on saving his family, a reality of which neither the White House or Korshunov know. Following 30 minutes, Korshunov calls the White House to see whether Roddick has been delivered. Marshall gets back to the freight hold where he figures out how to track down a mobile phone, and makes a phone call to the White House switchboard. One of Korshunov's cohorts tracks down Marshall at the point when the call is moved through to the White House circumstance room. One of Korshunov's cohorts tracks down Marshall at the point when the call is moved through to the White House circumstance room. Marshall provides backhanded orders for one of the F-15s accompanying the plane to fire on them. Not asking. Your commander in chief has issued a direct order. Do it. Three. Marshall gets the plan to dump the plane's fuel, which ought to drive the plane to land at the point when the plane registers that it is spilling fuel. Course Hunov sends two of his men Marshall creeps up to the fundamental lodge, and represses another henchman. However needs to save the hostages Major Caldwell, in movie William H. Macy, suggests that on the off chance that they can get the plane. Marshall states insistently he isn't leaving without his family however needs to save the hostages and utilize the parachutes in the freight hold, they can get off the plane. Shortly after course Hunov calls requesting a mid-air refueling, a KC-10 is dispatched and not long after refuels Air Force One. The two planes slide to 15,000 feet. Caldwell and a few others initiate the freight hold entryways, and various individuals start dropping from the plane, enacting their parachutes. Marshall scarcely endures being sucked out of the freight hold, gripping in there before long kidnapped by Korshunov's men. Igor then, at that point, considers the White House, reporting that he presently has the president. If you violate our airspace, I will execute a member of the first family. Marshall is brought before Korshunov, who beats him and requests that Marshall call Petrov to deliver Roddick. Marshall declines until Course Hunov takes steps to kill Alice. Forced to save his family, Marshall surrenders, and calls Petrov for the arrival of Roddick. American. Mr. President! Simultaneously, Marshall covertly gets hold of a piece of glass, and slices through his bindings. Marshall then figures out how to take out the shooter, however in the resulting battle, Igor departs to the freight hold with grace. Call it off! 
Marshall observed significant harm to its tail gear, forestalling a protected landing. With no real way to set down and the plane quickly losing fuel, a C-130 Hercules is directed towards Air Force One, and a mid-air zipline salvage is placed into impact. Marshall requests that his significant other and girl be moved first due to Air Force Ones. Okay. Proceeded with motor disappointment and fast drop, just a single additional individual can be protected. Take one more! No! We're all going! That's impossible, sir! I have to take you! Gibbs and Marshall battle for the zipline lash. When Marshall is at last secure on board the Hercules, the pilot changes the plane's call sign from Freedom 2 to 4 to Air Force One. Air Force now, Air Force One! 